Hello, in this section of the book, I will be focusing on the conflict. In the beginning of this quarter, it begins quite calm. Yoli wakes up at Redek's house, hungover. Later in this section, the tour Elf is supposed to be doing gets brought up. Elf is back and forth on wanting to do the tour and not wanting to. Um, Elf ends up wanting to do the tour, therefore she claims she is feeling better. Which is hard for the reader to believe, considering earlier in this part, Elf asks Yoli if she would take her to Switzerland because over there it is legal to perform assisted suicide. Please, Yoli, I'm asking you to do this one last thing for me. In fact, I'm begging, says Elf on page 90. The conflict in the section begins when Yoli refuses to take Elf. Alfreda, you are asking me to take you to Switzerland to be killed. Are you out of your fucking mind? Says Yoli on page 90 as well. Elf claims to have a terminal illness, but after that bold statement, Yoli snaps right back at her, arguing the opposite. Back and forth, they bickered on whether or not her mental illness really is terminal. Elf then starts listening to the things her doctors and nurses ask her to do, such as getting up out of bed and taking her meds. The talk of Elf being released from the hospital arises. Yoli has concerns surrounding if she is truly well enough to be going home and to host a tour on top of that. After she just begged Yoli to take her to be killed. I don't know exactly what happened, Elf tells us, but I woke up feeling like a different person. I think I'm ready to do the tour. I'm going to call Claudio. I want to play tennis again. Maybe Nick and I will move to Paris, says Elf on page 107. Everyone else seems excited and all right with the idea of her coming home, so Yoli doesn't put, much, put up much of an argument surrounding the homecoming of her sister. Later, when Elf is released from the hospital, she is at home for a couple days, then she has to be ready to leave for her first tour destination. Every time Elf does performances and tours, she doesn't enjoy having anyone around her the day before while she is practicing and preparing herself. She is alone in her house. Her mother Lottie arrives home after going to her sister Tina's house to give Elf time and space. Knocks on the door and Elf doesn't answer. Lottie tries the door, but it is locked. Luckily, she has a key and lets herself in. She found Elf lying on the floor in the bathroom. She had cut her wrists and she had drunk Jadex. The bathroom reeked of bleach. Her skin and breath reeked of bleach. She was covered in blood, says the narrator, who is Yoli, um, about her mother and her aunt, Tina, on page 130. She held her arms out to my mother and begged her to take her to the train tracks. My mother held her and Tina called 911 and they came to take Elf back to the hospital, says Yoli on page 180, also about her mother and Tina. Elf cannot breathe on her own, therefore she is put on a respirator and may also may never speak again due to the damage the bleach has done to her throat. Her wrists are bandaged and likely will heal over without trouble. Yoli comes to the hospital to see how she was doing. The tour has been dealt with by her manager. Cancelled and refunded. At the very end of chapter 9, Elf writes on a piece of paper, I'm afraid of dying alone, she writes, I, and I nod again. Then she writes the word Switzerland on the paper and circles it and passes it to me. I smile and fold the paper until it's the size of a pill and then put it back into my bag. Let me think, I tell her. Give me time to think, proclaims Yoli on page 149. This, this causes further conflict for Yoli with herself due to having to make a decision this important. Um, she originally did not even think twice about the idea of taking her sister away to be killed, yet now she is in her head thinking about all the drugs she could do it with, how to use them, asking Finbar, the lawyer, about the consequences of assisting her sister in her own suicide. If I were to help my sister die, would I be charged with murder? Um, I hung I hung up the phone and called back and left another message. I'm not planning to kill my sister, don't get me wrong. I'm just wondering about the legal implications and all that stuff, says Yoli on page 152. She is at a loss of what to do and almost tries to convince herself that her making Elf live is in a way selfish of her. All right, so the brain is an organ that's made to solve problems. 
So if the problem is life and it's unavailability, then a, rat a rational working brain would choose to end it, no? Says Yoli on page 152. So, and that is where my section ends. You will be hearing from me on a blog for the next quarter of the book, continuing on whether Yoli decides to take Elf or not. This has ended on a pretty big cliffhanger, so I'm excited to get started on the next part.